back to my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students, happy learning! So our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first, describe and identify a well-defined set. Second, identify the elements of a set and Write the sets using the description and roster methods. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum for Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. So first, let's activate your prior knowledge. So all you have to do is group the objects na nakikita po natin sa screen as you see according to their characteristics or katangi ano and name each group. Ready? Okay, how many groups do you have? Very good, there are three groups. So, let's say, pangalanan natin tong group 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so in any order, ah, so let's say the group first group, we have the horse, lion, and dog. Second group, we have the school bus, jeepney, and motorbike. And the last group, we have grapes, apple, pineapple, and the banana. So, based on their characteristics, kaya nyo, very good na group po yan. So, let's say this is a group of animals, group of vehicles, and group of fruits. You identify according to their characteristics. So, with that, meron tayong kailangan i-unlock the vocabulary. We have the subset, set, and elements. Ito po yung usapan natin. I'll give you five seconds to identify the definition. Ready? Let's check for the first answer that is correct. Set. Pag sinabi natin set, is a collection or group of well-defined distinct objects. Katulad ng ginawa nyo kanina, grinupo nyo yung mga set of animals. Like for example, meron tayong horse, dog, and lion. The number two that is very good, that is elements. Pag sinabi naman natin elements, yung mga objects na contain doon sa set. Katulad ng mga horse, lion, and dog. Ang tawag doon ay element sila ng anong set. Yun yung set of animals. And the last one is correct. Subset. Pag sinabing subset is a subset or part siya ng another set. Which the elements are contained in set or another set. So, with that, let's have the group of animals. Balikan natin yung group of vehicles and group of fruits. So, let's say this is set of animals, set of vehicles, and set of fruits. So, pwede natin pangalanan na lang or write the names. We have the elements of set of animals. Ano yung elements nila? Horse, lion, dog. So, set of vehicles, ano yung mga elements? We have bus, jeepney, and motorbike. And set of fruits, the elements are grapes, apple, and pineapple with banana. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng salitang elements. Okay, yun yung objects. So, with that, tandaan natin, no? Well-defined kailangan and distinct objects. Yun yung definition ng set. Okay, so with that, you are going to determine if the given set is well-defined or not well-defined. Kapag well-defined siya, i-identify mo or pangalana mo yung elements niya. Okay, so let's work the example. So you are going to complete the table. First, the set of days in a week. Kaya mo bang i-identify yung mga days in a week? Kapag kaya mo, ang tawag doon ay well-defined. Based on the definition, di ba? Pag sinabing... Set, kailangan well-defined siya and distinct objects. At yung mga elements doon, kaya mo identify. Yun yung mga objects. So, set of days, we have the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sun, Saturday. Kaya siya tawag na well-defined kasi nga na-identify mo yung mga days sa isang linggo. Next, we have set of precedents. That is not well-defined. Bakit siya not well-defined? Kasi po malawak po yung sinasabi sa set of precedents. Pwede siyang ma-interpret as... President ng Pilipinas, Presidente ng ibang bansa, or Presidente ng klase, or Presidente ng club, math club, science club, kung anong club man yan. So, therefore, wala tayong elements na matutukoy doon kasi na not well defined. And we have the set of odd numbers between 5 and 15. Ibig sabihin ng odd numbers, i-define natin, di ba? Pag sinabing odd numbers, ito po yung number na hindi siya pwedeng i-divide ng 2 or not divisible by 2. Kaya nga siya that is between 5 and 15. Ibig sabihin yan, kapag kayo mo identify, ang tawag doon ay well-defined. So, we have the odd numbers between 5 and 15. Meron tayong 7, 9, 11, and 13. And we have the set of large number. Kaya mo bang i-identify yung large number? Hindi po. Kaya siya not well-defined. 
because uh, there are many interpretation, no? This is too broad. Ibig sabihin ng large number, para sa akin, ang large number is trillion. Kapag konti lang kasi ang uh, nakakahawakan ng mga tao, no? Like for example, sa province, thousand lang ang kanilang large number na pananaw, di ba? Yung iba naman, million, thousand. So it depends on the person, no? Kaya nga, not well defined yun. Iba-iba tayo ng pananaw sa large number. And therefore, walang elements doon. Okay, next we have this. So, that is a set of factors of six. Ibig sabihin niyan, well-defined siya. Ibig sabihin, ano ba yung mga elements ng factors ng six? Meron tayong one times six, and we have the two times three. And pag in ko yan, meron tayong one times six, two times three, or one, two, three, six. Yun yung factors. Yun yung elements ni factors ng six. Kaya siya well-defined. Next, we have the set of primary colors. Ano ba yung mga primary colors? Kapag kaya mong tukuyin or pangalanan, ang tawag doon ay well-defined. And we have the blue, red, yellow. Next, we have the set of favorite movies. Kaya mo bang i-identify yung survey na tinatanong sa favorite movies? Hindi po. Not well-defined yun. Kasi nga, there are different... Uh, favorite movies no like me favorite ko is korean no movies some is uh chinese movie okay filipino movie so it depends on the person perspective kaya nga siya not or wala siyang elements kasi not well defined next we have the set of counting or natural numbers between 3 and 10 ibig sabihin ng counting numbers di ba yun yung countable start tayo ng 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and so forth pero ang sabi diyan between daw ng 3 and 10. Kaya nga, pag kaya mong i-identify, ang tawag doon ay well-defined. And the numbers between 3 and 10 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yan yung counting numbers natin. So next, meron tayong tinatawag na set notation or yung symbol na ginagamit, no? Is used in mathematics to essentially list numbers or objects. Set notation, use curly brackets, no? Yun yung ating symbol. As you can see, eto yon, which are sometimes referred to as braces. Okay? And take note. So, objects placed within the brackets are called the elements. Yun yung mga nasa loob ng set. Yun yung elements or objects, no? And do not have in any specific order. Kahit anong order siya, as long as separated by comma, tapos enclosed by braces, tapos yung pangalan ng set, nakakapital letter siya. Okay, let's work the example. So, A is the set of prime numbers less than 10. Pangalan na mo muna yung pangalan ng set. So, since nandiyan na A is the set, kaya nga capital letters yung pangalan. Tapos, ano-ano ba yung mga elements na tinutukoy sa prime numbers? Remember, when you say prime numbers, prime numbers is a number that has only two factors. Pag sabing factors, yung sarili niya, tsaka one. Kaya nga, ano-ano ba yung mga numbers na yon? We have two, three, five, seven. Kaya nga, one times two, 1 times 3, 1 times 5, 1 times 7. Wala nang ibang factors kundi yung sarili at yung number na 1. Okay, so we have B is the set of letters in the word jolly. Okay, ano ba yung mga pangalan muna? Pangalan na muna natin, set B. Capital letters, tapos jolly. Okay, take note no, sa salitang jolly meron tayong J-O-L-L-Y. Double L siya no. Pagdating sa elements na lang na sinulat mo, single L. Because remember the definition of set well-defined, distinct. Wala dapat siya kaparehas. Kaya nga, pag may naulit na letters or number, isang best lang susulat sa set notation. Okay, next. S is the set of perfect square less than 100. So, first, capital letter po yung pangalan ng set. Tapos, yung isulat mo lahat ng perfect square na mas mababa sa 100. Kaya nga, we have the 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and 81. Remember, the few weeks ago, inaral po natin yung ating perfect square. Okay, next, W is the set of whole numbers. And take note, no? Kapag sinabi natin W, yun yung uh, remember, some sets having predefined names like N kapag natural number, W kapag whole numbers. Since binanggit dyan, W is the set of whole numbers, pangalan ng set niya, W then. Okay? So, whole numbers yun. So, capital letters. And what are the whole numbers? Always start with one, zero. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Kapag continuous yun, yun yung lalagyan mo ng tatlong tuldok. Ibig sabihin yung tuldok na yan, ang tawag dyan is ellipsis. Ellipsis meaning the numbers are continuous, infinite, walang katapusan. Okay, so meron tayong ways of describing a set. There are two basic methods, no? No, kailangan natin matandaan. To describe a set. Una, 
verbal description method. From the word itself, when we say description, describe. Kaya nga sa the set is described in words using verbal statement. Example natin, the set of vowel in the English alphabet. Kapag naka-describe na siya, that is clearly stated, di ba? So may alam ka na na yung mga vowel na yung tinutukoy. Okay, there are five vowels, remember, in the English alphabet. So another method, we have the roster or listing method. From the word itself, listing. Ibig sabihin ng listing, lilista mo. Okay, the elements of the set are listed in a row, pero separated by commas and enclosed with braces. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. So as you can see, yung description method, di ba example niya, the set of vowel in the English alphabet. So, kapag nilista mo yung mga vowel na nandyan na tinutukoy, yun yung papasok yung listing method. Kaya nga, set A, let's say the name of set is set A. So, capital letter and the uh, vowels are A, A, E, O, O. Separated by commas and enclosed by braces. So, next we have the example number 2 doon sa description. I-describe mo siya. The set of even numbers less than 10. Pag sinabi even numbers, these are number that divisible by 2. Kaya nga, Dapat less than 10 siya. So, naka-describe na siya pero alam mo na dapat yun. Kasi nga, that is specific. So, kapag ginawa mong uh, listing method yan, let's say this is set B, capital letters. I-list mo yung mga even numbers na mas mababa sa 10. Kaya nga, 2, 4, 6, 8 separated by commas and enclosed by braces. Ganun po kung paano magsulat from description to listing. They are related in one another. Okay, so let's have Write the following sets, no? From verbal description method, gagawin mo siyang listing or roster method. Or from listing method, gagawin mong verbal. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. For the first one, the set of color in the rainbow. Remember, naka-description siya, no? Naka-describe. So, gagawin mong listing. Ano-ano ba yung mga color in the rainbow? Okay, so... Yun yung ating red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Remember, enclosed by braces, separated by commas, and the capital letter yung set natin name. So, remember, Roy G. Bib, yun yung acronym ng Color in the Rainbow. Next, so naka-roster naman siya or listing. Yung 018, 64, 125, 216, 345, Anong tawag sa mga numbers na yan? Gagawin mo siyang description. That is very good. The set of perfect cubes less than 1,000. Remember, the few weeks ago, inaral po natin yung mga perfect cubes. Next, number three. The set of factors of 20. From this verbal description, gagawin mo siyang roster or listing. Ililista mo yung mga factors ng 20. Pag sabing factors, ano yung dalawang numbers pag multiply mo 20? Kaya nga meron tayong possible, there are how many? Okay, 1 times 20. Tapos 2 times 10, tsaka 4 times 5. There are 2, 4, 6 possible factors of 20. Next, from listing naman, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tapos may ellipsis siya, ibig sabihin tuloy-tuloy yan, ano yung, yung verbal description? <coughs> Tawag dyan ay set of counting or natural numbers. Next, for the last one, set of letters in the word Philippines. Okay, remember, kapag may naulit na letters, pag ginawa mong listing yon. Isang beses lang susulat, yun yung distinct object. Kaya nga, we have the roster P-H-I-L-N-E-S or PILNES. Yan na yung ating listing method in the word Philippines. Okay, so with that, you are going to answer the multiple choice based on the lesson. Ready? What is set? Answer is letter B, collection of well-defined distinct objects. Very good. Next, number two. In a set, ano ang tawag sa objects? Ready? Okay, the correct answer is elements. Yun yung objects. Next, number three. Which notation or symbol is used to include the elements of a set? Ready? Answer is letter C. Next, number four. Which of the following is an example of well-defined set? Ready? The correct answer is letter B, the set of days in a week. Remember, meron tayong seven days. Kaya nga, well-defined yun. Okay, for the last one, what is the set of factors F18 in roster, notation, or method? Ready? 
Okay, the answer is letter A. Remember, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. Yun yung mga factors ng 18. Okay, so with that, you're going to answer your assignment. Sabihin nyo kung ito ba ay well-defined or not well-defined. Isulat po sa bago mag-number yung sagot nyo. Copy and answer on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Copy. Okay, so for number 11 to 15, you are going to match the description in column A with words or being described in column B. So, ikakapi ninyo sa one whole sheet of paper up yung sagot sa sulat doon sa bago mag-number. Ready? Copy. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning everyone. Bye-bye and keep safe.